Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, to our Subnautica blind playthrough, I don't know what the heck is happening. I don't understand. We're in the middle. Let's see if I can wrap my brain around this and try and describe it to people. Uh, in, last episode, in the last episode, we had our rescue ship blown up by an alien structure, and we decided, like the good survival experts that we are, that we should walk into that... Uh, alien structure. Now that we're in here, we've discovered that it is full of technology the likes of which I cannot even begin to wrap my head around. Uh, we also wandered out of its little pool here and found a strange teleporting aquatic creature with an enormous head that looks like a big brain uh, that decided to attack me. So, things are going well. We're gonna, we're gonna keep exploring this alien fortress? Factory? Power plant? something uh in today's episode uh I, th I think i'm gonna actually turn these off real quick and i'll just turn them back on when i want to go there um it's more immersive yeah and it looks big it has lots of steps so i really don't know uh what we'll find ahead of us but uh scan okay all right alien rifle Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? <laughs> okay. They don't want me to have it. Alien rifle. Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry. In form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. They have human slaves? Um... What is clear is that they consider defending this facility, facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. No obvious way. But have you tried? Swinging your knife against it? Um, okay. Yeah, so things are good. Things are very good here. As if I didn't already have a sense of foreboding about what's happening. Why is that so... So bright. Um, okay. Let's go floor by floor here. Another ion cube. I don't need to scan him anymore because I already have him. That's the third one. I think I need four total. Did that just light up? I think it did. Nope. Let's go up. Hmm. Okay, nothing on this floor. Oh, something here for sure, though. Purple tablet. Should I have scanned it? No, it's the same purple tablet, right? Same purple tablet. Same U, U symbol. Okay. What was that? What is that? Oh, my God. What? I think we are bugged. I think something is bugging through the floor. Ooh, I don't want to go near it, though. It looks... It is. It's a, it's a swimming creature. <gasps> oh, it, it scares me. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, it scares me. Something is definitely bugged. <laughs> okay. Well, there's no way that's supposed to be happening. Can I scan you? That would be a little cheesy, right? To scan it. I'm afraid it's going to damage me. I should save real quick. No, come here. I want to scan you. Uh, okay. You can scan this. This alien device knows that it's being scanned for sure. A doomsday device? What? This device contains enough potential energy to, energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Okay. All right. Something is definitely bugged over there. So we also had... Uh... One more place on the bottom floor. So we have this. The control room. Lies beyond this doorway. Okay. The matrix. The matrix. Sure. So I'm gonna go over here real quick. I'm gonna see if we can scan. And then I think I'm actually gonna go back to the first floor and see... 
a a big boy who's definitely bugging into the side of our I mean, it goes without saying, right? Oh, Jesus fucking shit. The size of that thing? I can't scan it. Is enormous. We have never seen anything even close to that size in uh in the game so far. It's so fucking big. All right, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom floor. Oh, there's fall damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, all right, and then in here. The moment of panic I had. The moment of panic I had when I saw something floating in the air. I was like, oh no, the aliens, I've found them. And maybe I have. Maybe that thing is the alien. I don't know. Wait, wait, it said scan. It said scan. Alien arch. Here's a question I have. I wondered about this. Okay, so scans actually save your progress. If you start scanning and you have to stop, it saves your progress towards 100. I just noticed that. Uh, I was trying to skin an, an animal earlier, a couple days ago, a couple episodes ago, and I realized that I, I tried to skin it like four times, and then the fifth time it was really quick. And I thought maybe it was saving your progress. This structure's intended purpose is unclear. It might be ceremonial or, or religious. It might have industrial applications, advanced transportation network. Further research required. Would you say further research includes jumping into the middle of it, whacking it with your knife, and hoping it transports you to another dimension? Is that cool with you? Nothing here? Alright, well. I think there will be a reason for that eventually, but um, we're going to go back up to the for top floor. I'm actually trying to hurry, mostly because I'm a little bit concerned about my water and food levels. I did not think that when we set out to be rescued by the... Uh, by the sunbeam that I would have to pack more than a quick and I guess that was mistake number one right? I'm gonna pack more than a quick lunch alright let's do it let's do it let's do it just gonna send it okay In a way, these look like enormous servers, you know? We look like we might be in a, like, huge server room. Full of just, like, enormous, powerful computing. Also, maybe not. Also, maybe it's something else entirely, but... It gives us a little down, like, step down right here. So I think I'm going to take it and just explore a little bit. Just see if there happens to be anything behind. No. You know a question that's been on my head since I, uh... Since I found out that you can get a radiation suit? Let's do this again. And that there's filtered water. Shit. We're taking steps in the right direction towards... Getting less infected. Or at least holding off the infection with a radiation suit on the one hand and then filtered water on the and on the other hand but like the other problem is those things uh i think are not exactly radiation and then the bacterial infection uh seems slightly different so i don't really know what are you uh energy core do I put an ion thingy in here? Interact. I'm not going to touch it. What do you think? I'm going to read first. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation. Okay. Can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. No shit. Or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. You're telling me if I would have been quick? 
This is a rhetorical question because I don't know if... So please don't answer it. So I don't know because I don't know if this might actually affect how I do things. But are you telling me I might have been able to get in here, deactivate stuff? Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I got stabbed. Fuck! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation. Oh. Warning. Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. This planet is under quarantine. <gasps> Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Holy shit. This is to keep people out because the... Fluid intake. Sea fluid. I know, I know, I know. Because we're under quarantine because this whole place is infecting people who come here. Uh, This is the... Okay, I need to look away. Uh, so that I can read it. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data reading regarding further alien uh, facilities elsewhere on the planet. There's a disease research facility at 800 meters deep. A thermal power... 1,200 meters deep? Oh, my God. Um, Cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of enforcement platform. Live specimen study. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated CARA. So they are attempting to come up with a way to... We're starting to get the pictures of a story arc for us, which would be, in order to get off of this planet, you would have to shut this thing down. In order to shut this thing down, you would have to uh, become uninfected and prove to the planet that it is safe to travel again. Oh, this is good. Ah, uh, the way that I don't have to be told that, but but we sort of get to piece it together from like the the the. I have to, I have to go. I need water. Uh, thermal power. We can we can talk about this later. Thermal power facility at twelve hundred meters inside an extensive natural rock formation. Intense volcanic activity. Okay, so they are using thermal energy there. Sanctuary A and B data corrupted. Offsite laboratory. Primary containment facility. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. Quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft. Yeah. Okay. We have to go because uh, I have no uh, I have no water. Um, and I think I'm going to start taking damage here. So every time I do this, I will... Incredible. We know the purpose for this thing now. So now the question is, do I book it out of the water or do I book it out the normal way? The water seemed dangerous, but also kind of fun. And also, I could maybe find a bladder fish. <laughs> uh, the water did seem dangerous, though. Uh, our water situation is real bad. I took fall damage again, like a dummy. Uh, is this where we came from? I think. So we want to... Oh, we want to book it. Uh, I think we may go out here. We're at 94 meters, so it's not that far to the surface, regardless. Yep. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It is fucking kind of dark, it looks like, though. Just go, just go, just go. There's a... Oh! Go, 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 go! Oh, what are those things? Oh, no, I think I hear it behind me. I can't tell. Oh! I'm terrified that it's behind me. I'm so fucking scared that it's right behind me. Seek fluid intake immediately. I know. So these trees had bulbous, had water on them, which is why I'm headed for them. Okay. Um, God, those things are fucking terrifying. Uh, and by water on them, I mean, I think you can. Okay. So what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Food plus 10 tree sample. You can also just grow them. Oh shit. Vital signs stabilizing. You can grow them? Does that mean that I could potentially put one inside of a... Uh... Dude, is there a way to put, like, a alien containment? Uh, to make, like, a, a an internal garden? Like a, a greenhouse? Will I chop down this tree if I keep doing this? Or is this just all free food? Uh, 
Oh, I will chop it down. Damn it. Can I plant it? No, I can't. Well, now I feel bad. Uh, all right. Well, one less of those trees. Damn it. All right. That's fine. Holy shit. Our world has has gravely expanded here. Uh, has greatly expanded here. Um, and also a little bit gravely. There is a cave system. Fuck me sideways. I have to go in. I have I have food and water now. Hey, hey, stop it. I have food and water now. I'm gonna take a med kit. Um, so I have to go in. I don't really have a light, but I do have this. I feel like I have to try. I have to know a little bit. No, stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away, son of a bitch. I have to see what's in here. They better not attack me. Oh my god, this is fucking terrifying. You know there's gonna be... You know there's gonna be something inside of there, you know? There's water bubbles coming up over there. <laughs> Uh. Okay, 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 chill. Let's go slowly. It goes very slowly. The water is my home. The water is my home. Break shale outcrop. We have a shale outcrop. We should break it and pick up whatever that was. And we'll read that later. This world is so big. Look out for any predators. Tree leech. This is a tree? What? Am I looking at a tree? I don't think I'm looking at a tree. Am I looking at a tree? Oh, I thought I saw something. Blue palm. Cave bush. Okay, we have 70. We have 70 water. Oh, I'm getting tense. Um, blue palm. All right. Or 70 oxygen. Uh, oxygen. Uh, grab our light. Can I scan these stalagmites and stalactites? No. I can never remember which one is which. Stalagmites or stalactites? Dude. Oh, man. I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't know where the. I don't know where the thing is. I think it's through here. I gotta go. I don't know where the oxygen. Okay. Oh, I just panicked when I realized I didn't know. Oh, man. I thought to myself, we have that, like, Pathfinder thing we can make, but, uh, but I don't have one. And the minute I thought about that, I was like, I hope I know how to get out of here. I don't know that I do. Uh, where is it? Uh, Pathfinder, yeah. This seems, this seems very useful for here. Uh, okay. I don't want to be here forever. We gotta see what this glowing thing is, right? Oh, is it just more of these? Yeah. Um, I don't want to be here forever. Oh, but I do want to see if there's anything else I should I should find. Like maybe you? What are you? No. Um, there's nothing here. Okay. So there's our thing. Just remember where we go. Remember where we go. Lithium. Okay. Lithium ion batteries. Oh, that is deep. Right there is where we came from. 87 oxygen. Oh, there's a purple tablet. Grab the purple tablet and go, honestly. Grab the purple tablet and go. I don't know what that's used for. Useful for? Uh, was it here? Uh, it was here. It was here. Oh, buddy. All right. That's the that's the last of that we're doing. No way. No way again. No way. I have an extra purple tablet. Um, usually used for... Usually used for uh, unlocking force fields. 
What is lithium used for? Can't find it yet. Okay, I think that's probably good for us. I think we're probably headed out of here. Um, yeah, that's that's a good. It's a good little. I think we saw a couple cave guys this way. But let's take a quick look. There's something on the wall there. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. Did I just find diamond and you told me that? I knew it. Your current bill stands at three million. Altera, you fucker. All right, I gotta survive here. Three million credits, my ass. All right, we are going back home, I think. Uh, unless... I think we're going back home. I think it's important that we go to our radio... Not that there's going to be anything there. But I would consider this uh, a useful a useful trip, he says, after watching his one chance of survival uh, disappear. I consider this a useful trip. Uh, and I think it's time for us to level up our technology game. Uh, I think, honestly, is probably the... Uh, what are all you guys? Are you guys tiny hoop fish? <gasps> Oh shit, the music. What the fuck? Thought I was getting attacked. Oh, it's just a blueprint acquired sound. God damn, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, Alright, uh, I got a gel sack and I can make an aerogel. Light porous dried gel, high heat insulation. It takes a ruby though. What exactly is a gel sack? Plus five food, plus four H2O. Seems more useful than that. Shale outcrops. Sedimentary rock is formed from flakes of clay minerals, inside of which rare metals such as lithium can be found. Geological conditions on this planet tends to be found in deeper biomes. Gold, lithium, diamond. Cool. We did find some diamond. A couple plants to take a look at. Blue palm, common aquatic plant which thrives in shallower waters with high exposure to sunlight. Which is weird considering I found it in a cave pond thingy. Long fronds intercept light before it can reach the smaller flora. Cave bush, purple luminescent species, grows away from sunlight. Tree leech, attached to other life forms. Enzyme is released by the organism. Attached to other life forms? An enzyme is released by the organism which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host. Oh my god. Outer tooth-lined jaws serve no identified purpose. May be used during a different stage of the organism's life cycle. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Does that mean... Hold up. Hold the phone. I have to go home. Do I, like, put something inside of that? That sounds weird, but I think we're going to go home. Um, It's time to get going home. It's, it's nighttime. It's, uh, it's time to go, but... Oh, shit. The baddie's here. The baddie's here. The baddie's here. We'll, well, I'll leave your island alone. I don't want to come back to your island, honestly. Uh, I want to leave forever. I would like to leave forever and never come back, honestly. Oh, man. Those are like... They're sort of like witches in Minecraft is what they make, is what me, they make me think of. The same type of, like... Fear. <laughs> You run up on a uh, uh, a witch in Minecraft, and you're just sort of like, I feel like things could go south really quickly if I hung around you. This is where we saw the sharks. We also do have potentially some... <gasps> sea Seaglide fragment. So... Did that just give me titanium? I think because I already have the blueprint, I think the game mechanic must be, if you already have the blueprint, it will give you titanium instead so that you're not like completely out, completely not getting anything valuable, maybe? I don't know. There's the uh, stalker, so we know we're close to home. We should name that guy, honestly. 
What do you guys want to name this guy? Chat, come on, uh, chat. <laughs> Comments, come up with a, come up with a name for this guy. He's just hanging out in there. He's stuck. Ice? Oh, I spoke to some friends about, uh, oh shit, we need a new, about that moment where the stalker scared me in episode three. I just assumed the entire time, I spoke to Twitch chat specifically, uh, my friends on Twitch chat. I assumed the entire time that that was a scripted encou uh, encounter where like every time that you go inside of there, a player gets attacked by a stalker. They said no. What are you? They said that that is not the case, which is wild to me. And th that means I just sort of got unlucky and, and a thing got stuck in there. It, it happened, like it was so good, like the moment that I just imagined it was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was scripted. It happens to everybody. Apparently not. All right, so we made we made it home. Oh, thank God, we made it home, quote unquote. Uh, I need salt so that I can make these peepers cured. I think that's honestly the best call. I also need to. Uh, figure out. Sorry, I'm just thinking real quick. We should consume a cup of water, or at least one water. Take a couple with us. Hmm. What to do here? What to do here? Our, uh... Our batteries are all low. Oh, man. The list of items that we could possibly, uh... Things we could possibly be doing right now is very large. Very, very large. A purple tablet, ion cube, and diamond. Okay. Advanced material, aerogel. All right. Okay. Oh, I think I used all of my... Uh, I think I maybe used all of my salt when I was curing peepers. Uh, or when I was making uh, bleach in order to make disinfected water. Okay, so how to do this? How to do this? I think it is time that we really sort of hit the ground running with technology and just like made the technology tree go burr, you know, like figure everything out that we can. Um, let's eat this boy. Today's episode we're, we're to the end of basically, but uh, I did make the one item I wanted to make with a radiation suit. So let's take a, a look at, I still need more silver in order to make the uh, compass and the compass, which I want. And let's see here. We should probably have, I feel like moving towards building our own habitat. We're going to need like storage and stuff. And I feel like that's, I don't know. I don't know. How do we make this tree go burr? Uh, I should make my first computer chip at some point. But what do I need those for again? I gotta figure out what this floating air pump. I'm just gonna make one. Fuck it. Let's figure out what a floating air pump is. Um, a pipe. I need more titanium. I have an idea, actually, which might be maybe it is a. Maybe a floating air pump. <gasps> oh. I thought... <laughs> I thought I was under attack for some reason. I think the sound of water against my ears made me have a heart attack. Uh, alright, so I think... Where is it? Here. Uh... Five. No? Okay. I think it might deliver water if you're, uh, air to you if you're underneath it, if that makes sense. Like, let me take some titanium. And I'll de deposit some of the rest of this. Um, 
I really don't know if this is the case, but also one of these should be miscellaneous, right? This is the miscellaneous one. Let's put all the table coral in there. Um, the gel sack too. So if we can make a pipe, a pipe or two, maybe. Uh, pipe. Where is it? Uh, equipment, equipment, pipe. It makes five pipes. Breathable air from a functional pump. Okay, that's what I thought. I think what I do is actually I make... Does this... Is this how you dive deeper? Holy shit, is this how you dive deeper? Uh, where did I put my pump? <laughs> right there, alright. Yes! My oxygen goes up. Holy shit! Yo! Very cool. I understand. Let's go. I just realized we're overtime anyways. That is a beautiful moment to... I love this kind of moment in video games where something starts clicking and you're putting the pieces together and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh my god, the deep caves. I don't have to dive down every time. I can just dive from a moderate, like a, like a halfway down point, come back to the floating air pump, Refill my oxygen, head back down there, farm silver, farm good shit, conquer the world, get off this planet. I give it three more episodes and we'll be off this planet and done with this playthrough. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh man, I love moments like that. Moments like that is why I do blind playthroughs because it's just, ah, to see, to feel the neurons firing, making connections. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.